Welcome back to the Sound for More channel. It's Leo speaking. Today I have the pleasure to introduce you to Tomophone from Clavegrand. Before I continue, I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. Thank you very much. Additionally, if you would like to be part of the giveaway, please do check the video description where you will find the instruction on how to participate. And please ensure that um, the winners have not been announced as uh, if that is the case, the giveaway has closed. And do come back, of course, if you find uh, uh, your name in the video description as winner announced, do come back and uh, claim your code. So what is um, Tomophone? Well, it's uh, defined as a real audio synth. It introduces a new um, audio format, a new audio model format, which is based uh, really on uh, taking a sample and split that into um, lots of oscillating waves. And then to organize those wave tables into pitch zones, as I will show you in a moment. And, and, and of course, the difference between a normal wave table synth is that uh, you can have those um, horizontally, those wave tables horizontally, and then um, you can morph between different pitch zones and different depths as well within that uh, wave table. Think of that wave table as a layer uh, over a pitch zones. But I will explain that in more details as we progress uh, within this series of tutorials. In this first video, I'm going to give you a little bit of a tour to the UI, and also I'm going to play some uh, of the preset because it comes with more than 180 presets. And it has also around 124 audio model as well. But as you can see from the screen, it's quite nice as a, as, as a UI. You see in the middle of the screen, you have an option to uh, set your envelope for gain, um, similar to your amplitude. And uh, you can see the attack decay loop and release. Um, you don't have a sustain, you have a loop, which is um, makes it more interesting. And then you have timing here and velocity, uh, velocity settings as well. You can go to the depth, and this is where you can actually have an envelope through the, which control the depth uh, through that um, for those wave tables which I just mentioned. You can do the same um, to the pitch and also to the filter. And you have controls to select points, add points, remove points, scale points, etc., etc. Up here, you find a selection of presets with different category. And of course, you can save also your own presets. You can go to the previous preset, the next preset with the arrows here. You have effects like um, post effects, like delay and reverb, which of course you can further customize as well. And you have EQ as well, which is really, really nice. Let's uh, progress. And down here, you have also an output, a main output as well. Um, on the top left here, you have a um, setting for your controller. And you can say controller number one, um, influence the depth or the depth amount, the pitch amount, the pitch frequency, etc. You click and then you move up and down as you hold uh, uh, your finger or your mouse and you set the intensity or amount. Here is where you control and uh, the settings for your different controllers, like modulation wheel. But it doesn't have to be that one. You can choose different ones, of course. And you have also learn facilities as well, which is nice. And then you have uh, settings for voice. And this um, is where it shows you that it goes up to four um, multiple voices at the same time. This is where you have option to offset pitch, normalize waves, humanize, et cetera, et cetera, master tuning as well. You can see here at the bottom the loaded model. If you click on load model, you can choose between those 124 different models that the Tomophone comes with. And I should say that um, this is available for iOS, but it's also available on desktop. So you can find it also for your Mac and also for your Windows um, machine. Down here, you have the representation of the audio model. Indeed, if you click on the editor, you move to the editing part of the synth, where again, you see the representation here, these are pitched zones, so when you click on one, you see the waveform on the top. See, so it says wavetable here on the left-hand side and also audio model here as well. You have um, ability to load model, to save it, to boost it, normalize it, 
make a smooth transition, clean it up, et cetera, et cetera. But you can also import audio, which is quite nice. So you click on import and then choose something to import and it gives you different options in terms of what you can import. Of course, it gave me an error here because I have not imported it. But um, I'll cover that in more details later on. So let's click back to synth and let's start with some natural voices. What I found very interesting um, with Tomophone is that uh, initially I thought, oh, maybe this is another version of people, but it is not. Actually, it gives you some very unique and expressive presets. So let's start with some natural voices, but I'm going to move away very quickly from those voices because the other presets, in my view, are more uh, um, interesting. <laughs> Let's go to natural strings. Let's try this expressive cello. Really nice. Let's try an expressive viola. Really nice, as you can hear. Let's go for this solo violin. Really nice, isn't it? So let's try something like uh, perhaps a staccato violin. Really, really nice. And also a tremolo. You can notice here that um, you have the envelope which is going through the death in one particular pitch zone. Again, I will explain that in more details uh, how all of that works in a um, subsequent tutorial. Let's go for some natural um, brass. So let's try the staccato alto. This expressive flute. Really nice. Let's try some uh, guitar. And Tomophone is one of those things which can it can give you some very expressive presets, but it also can give you something completely different, something experimental which you need to try yourself. Okay, let's try some basses. Standard electric bass. Let's perhaps move down of octave. For, this, for the purpose of this video, I'm actually not using a controller, so I'm just using um, directly what I have on the iPad, which makes it um, more challenging. Okay, let's try these ethereal voice. Really nice, really nice. Let's try some synth pads. So let's try these uh, Aurora. Let's try this fading. Mm -hmm. 
really nice. Okay, let's try some uh, synth stubs. Quite interesting, let's go up as a pitch. Hmm, really interesting. Okay, let's try some assorted keys. And of course, you can also go to experimental to try something completely different. Now let me show you what happens if, uh, let's choose the full settings and um, let's go into editor and let's import, uh, for example, a drum loop. It asks you to uh, choose which way to import it. I'm going to select automatic, which will create a playable audio model automatically by sorting continuous waves into the most appropriate pitched zones, as it says there. So that is the easiest way. So you can hear that um, it has created something quite uh, unique. Again, if you press on a pitch zone, you can see the wave tables up there. If I was now to go to the synth part, skip this, I don't want to save that. And I was to change the depth, for example, here on the looping. So you can hear that the weight tables are different between the different uh, pitch zones, okay? I'm going to stop here for this first uh, um, introductory uh, tutorial or overview. And uh, as always, see you next time. Bye.